Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I ordered a style item from the last FabFitFun sale so it arrived and it actually arrived a week ago which was only about a week after I got my uh, fall edit sale items. Here it is. I ordered the pea coat. If uh, you are a returning subscriber and you're wondering how I'm doing, I will get into that after I unbox this. If you're new to my channel, I'm pregnant. I was struggling a little bit last week, so I'm going to get into that later. But if I'm going to do this first for those people who don't really care about that. So let's get into this. I ordered the pea coat. It came in uh, kind of like one of their FabFitFun boxes. I'm gonna assume if you're watching this, you know what FabFitFun is. It's a quarterly subscription box. They have sales, uh, tw two sales every quarter that are really amazing. Anyway, I, I love FabFitFun. So I have no never ordered a style item before. So I'm really curious to see what the quality is like. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna open it. So the first thing is it has this little card get a free styling fee. So I've never gotten, like I said, I've never gotten a style item before. I guess you can sign up for style boxes. I've never looked into it before. I love ThreadUp. I'm a ThreadUp fan, so I haven't really wanted to. So this is a secret code. So if you are wanting to try it, go ahead and use this secret code. It says sign up for a FabFitFun style box and get additional fashion looks hand-picked and curated for you by a personal stylist. Anyway, so if you're curious about style, we'll see what the quality is like on this pea coat. Um, I paid $20 for it in the edit sale, and I, they said it retailed for like $40 or $50. I have to go back and see if I, oh, I filmed my video where I record my screen every single sale, so I'll go back to the, that video and I will see how much it says this retailed for. I want to say it was $40 or $50. I want to say it was $50, but it could be way off. I was really into the idea of this because this is basically a sweatshirt that is designed to look like a pea coat and that what better what better item of clothing to be cozy comfort com cozy comfortable in a sweatshirt but it looks nice so and I thought it looked great on the models so there it is it feels so far I think it feels really good in my hands I got the large and um, I debated because at the time I was kind of between medium and large but now I'm pregnant and I cannot stop eating. I am so hungry. I'm hungry in a way I have never felt before and I um, I'm sure that I have gone up to a size large. I can feel that I, I just can feel that I've already gained a significant amount of weight in my clothes. Anyway, so this is, what's the brand here? This is Stoosh. So that's the brand. And I remember on the forum, somebody did some detective work and found that this is actually a brand that's sold by Nordstrom. So the inside lining feels really good. It comes with extra buttons. Let's try it on. So I was worried this is gonna be too big. Now it's gonna fit perfectly. And I got the bigger size thinking, oh good, I can wear like sweaters under it. Uh, but now I don't know if I'll be able to fit sweaters under it, but that's still okay. It's very warm. It's um, thick. Let's button it up. It has this inner button here so that it stays. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to film when I do try-ons, and I think that this is a pretty good way. But anyway, it has that button right there so that it helps it stay closed. So this is a large, right now, I probably weigh 180 pounds and I'm 5'7 and a half, if that's helpful to you. Um, I was a solid medium in tops at 170 and now I need larges. And there was a whole debate about whether these are these were junior sizing or not. I I didn't really see a clear answer as to whether or not this was in junior sizing. If it's junior sizing, I need a large, maybe even an extra large. But in women's sizing, I need a medium or now a large because, like I said, I have definitely gained weight since I got pregnant. So I 
need to look in a mirror for myself to see but that's what it looks like I'm gonna go check myself out in the mirror okay so I like it I think that it was worth $20 I wouldn't pay more for it there is a little bit of unevenness around the bottom in the way that it was cut and sewn and put together uh, which is fine it but I if I had my way I would like it to be a little more even um, I am definitely at capacity in a size large with how, um, with my height, weight, I don't know if that's helpful for you. Let's see what the hoodie's like. I do like a big hoodie that kind of just wraps around and makes you feel nice and cozy and even kind of like you're still under the covers, you know, in the morning when you get out of bed and you're going to work. Uh, it's got these pockets, so I'm happy with it. It will definitely get use at $20 if it, sh it shows up in another sale and you are torn and you don't know what to do. Um, I It's it's comfortable, um, and I would say it's pretty true to size. This is definitely how I would expect a large to fit me right now. So yeah, there you go. That I hope that was helpful to you if you are looking at stuff that's fun style stuff or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to now get into an update. I filmed a video last Monday about um, that I am pregnant. I am now seven and a half weeks pregnant, and I was feeling really, really low. That's why I haven't filmed in a few days. I just needed to take a break and get a lot of rest, and I still am getting a lot of rest. I feel better. I had an ultrasound on... Hang on, I'm struggling with this button. I had an ultrasound on Wednesday, and there was a strong, healthy heartbeat. That was at seven weeks, so there's still time for it to go south, but right now, everything is going really well. I am not letting myself get excited yet. I had the miscarriage back in February, so we're, our fingers are crossed. We're cautiously optimistic, and yeah, so... Um, I am feeling better. I still feel really low energy, but I don't feel as just, I was just feeling so, so down in the in, earlier this week and I just needed to let myself move through it. So I am better and I did, I practically signed off and I didn't really do anything on social media, but I did read all of your comments and I can't. I can't explain to you enough how much they helped me. So thank you all so much who watched and left comments and support on that video. I am very touched by it and I'm touched by this whole YouTube thing and the friendships and connections that I've made and I love you all so much and thank you for that. I will um, I will start to be filming some more as my as my pregnancy allows. Right now I still feel pretty good. I have, um, I'm getting heartburn fairly regularly, but that's because I probably is worsened because I am eating so much. My body is just telling me to eat. I can't help it. I want to eat often and I want to eat a lot. And I'm just gonna let myself, if that's what my body and the baby needs, then my body and the baby needs it. So I will deal with losing the weight. This is too warm for right now. Um, I will deal with losing the weight when it comes to that. But yeah, so I'm, I'm having heartburn probably because I'm eating so much. Also the progesterone slows down digestion, so that's why you get all those digestive issues. I'm having cravings, I'm having food aversions, I'm really, really hungry and everything looks gross and I don't know what to do about that, but then once I start eating, it's like, oh yeah, this is what I need. Anyway, and then so also, what else am I experiencing? My boobs feel like somebody just punched the, each of them over and over many, many times. They are so sore and so swollen. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I think that I'm pretty much having very standard feelings for being seven and a half weeks pregnant. I haven't really felt nauseous, maybe little twinges, and I have... I have a bucket next to the bed in case it happens in the middle of the night suddenly, um, but I I haven't felt nauseous and I kind of welcome it because I 
had the miscarriage and I have read that women who feel morning sickness, morning sickness, rarely miscarry, <laughs> but um, I haven't really felt it yet. I do have some friends who say they didn't feel it until they were about eight weeks. So we'll see, maybe I will feel it. Maybe I won't, maybe I'll have a happy, healthy baby. It's crazy how much this is ruling my brain right now and I am trying not to let it. I have a very busy job with a lot of responsibilities and that actually helps once I drag myself out of bed and I get my butt there, it helps so much. So I'm very, very thankful for my job. I, I love my job. It's it's. I'm very blessed. Um, anyway, so thank you so much again. I will continue to update you all and I will see you in my next video. I'm actually just going to go ahead and record another one right now. <laughs> I think that that might be what I need to do on the weeknights. I've been so exhausted that I don't, I don't think that I will be able to film much on weeknights, so I'll probably just film a few videos in a row on a weekend, and you will just see me in the same outfit <laughs> throughout that week in every video that I post. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and wrap this one up, and I will get into my next video, which is going to be, I think, just an empties one, some product reviews. No, just empties. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video, which I'm about to film. Bye!